working and writing arts and culture entrepreneur Khaukhalo Dube has launched the Long and Short Project. The project is endorsed by, amongst others, poet laureate Kyo Rapetsi Khosizile and curated by award-winning writer Yawande Omotoso. According to the brains behind the project, South Africa is confronted with the challenges of illiteracy. These challenges call for robust interventions to get South Africans to read and that is the only way to develop an informed society. Close quote. Now, Dube is here to tell us uh, more about this, unpack and elaborate about the project. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. All right. Let's talk about this long story project. Um, what is it? What inspired it? Well, I mean, um, I work in the arts and cult culture sector and I always try to have relevant projects. You know, um, I, I try to innovate projects that speak to a particular need. Mm. And I actually stumbled across a, a, an alarming stati statistic that 92% of our schools don't have libraries. So I thought, okay, in light of the fact that there are no actual school libraries, mm. how do we push kids into community libraries, hence this project. All right. And I mean, what are you trying to achieve with this project? What is the long term, you know, plan for it? I mean, um, firstly, I would like young people to, to, to interface with their, their, their community libraries. They're there, uh, but they're not going to the community libraries outside of the fact that maybe they go there to study because, you know, when you're at home, and you live in the township, maybe you, do, you don't have the space to study. Mm. So they use their libraries for, 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 for the purposes of studying. So I would like to, you know, push young people into their libraries for the purposes of actually taking out books, because mm. that's what libraries are. are and actually for. reading the books. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the, the role of Yawanda Motoso in this project. How did you get the buy-in and, you know, the industry to sort of buy into this? I mean, it was very important to have the credibility, you know, and especially with writers because they're very particular <laughs> about where their work yes. is, you know, sh showcased and that kind of thing. So I was blessed in, in the sense that um, I, I have a very good relationship with her dad, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. So I approached her and... Um, and she's been fantastic in facilitating the relation, the the working relationship with the writers. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, how did the launch go? You had a launch last week. Yes. Mm. Um, we had a launch at Olive and Oat Bosch Community Library, um, that's in Centurion, and Lubin Boya was reading Nozizwe, Cynthia Jelle's story, mm -hmm. Tender, and it was fantastic. I mean, I, I just actually had a look at the footage. And it's fantastic. We're going to have a beautiful podcast. All right. Yeah. So let's talk about, it's a series. Just yes. the, let's explain to our viewers how this is going to okay. work. How it's going to work is that we're going to have a reading by a capable performer mm -hmm. once a month in a community library in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. And we will be recording those readings for podcasts. Yeah. All right. And uh, can we start talking about the next series already? What what plans have gone into you know looking forward to the next one? Um, the next the next reading will be um, read by Mbali Khosidinzi, mm -hmm. who is a, a phenomenal theatre actress, and she will be reading Nick Nklongo's, um short story called A Gollywood Drama. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to sort of get these two to these two worlds to work yes. together. Yes. Hey? Yes. Okay. And how do you choose which authors need to be part of this or which celebrities to be part of this? Okay. Well, with the celebrities, we've really just relied on personal relationships <laughs> as a start. But what I've seen happening is that, um, you know, a lot of people are starting to be interested. So I'm really happy about that. Um, the more the merrier. Yeah. Um, just a word of warning, celebrities. <laughs> One take. We are producing a podcast. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's no cut. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with the writers, um, Year One has already cu curated uh, 24 stories, so mm -hmm. that's set in stone for now. And um, I think with the next series, we're actually looking at opening it up and maybe touching on African languages. Mm. Yeah, because right. this series is purely just English. All right, and yeah. how soon can we start talking about African languages? Or do you first want to see how the English is going? You know, let the English settle a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, let's, let's just start with 
the branding exercise yeah. and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so the DAC is also on board and the Goethe Institute. Talk to us about their roles there. Okay, the Department of Arts and Culture is actually funding this project mm -hmm. um, under the Mzanzi Golden Econ Economy mm -hmm. Fund. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Goethe Institute um, came on board to support the, the curatorial process. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they were part of that. All right, so how do interested people get a hold of you? You know, somebody might also have additional funding or, you know, maybe they might want to do it in Soweto, for instance. How do they get a hold of you? That would be great. <laughs> um, please do contact us um, on our Facebook page, which is, long story short, African Literature Goes Digital. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Uh, long story short, goes digital. Long story short, African literature goes African digital. Liter okay, got it. Thank you so much. Khokhele uh, Dube is an arts and culture entrepreneur speaking to us about this project. It's very, very interesting, the long and short story project. Uh, you, and it's aimed at uh, promoting a culture of reading and writing, which is at an alarming rate at the moment.